What's up, guys? Jake Whitaker, Bassmaster Elite Series rookie. Just got back from a two-week road trip. Had two back-to-back -back Elite Series tournaments. Uh, the first being at Grand Lake in Grove, Oklahoma, and the second at Kentucky Lake uh, in Paris, Tennessee. Just wanted to give you guys a quick recap of uh, how those tournaments went for me. Uh, ended up 93rd at Grand, which is obviously not what I wanted. Um, but that was just kind of a tough tournament for me. Had a decent day one, had 15 and change on day one. Um, and then the second day, just, you know, just I never really got on anything. Just kind of had to scramble around uh, to catch three. And, I, you know, that wasn't good. So I uh, ended up 93rd there. Um, like I said, the first day at Grand, had 15 and change. Caught all those fish uh, just flipping around um, a rage crawl. Uh, with a 3 8 ounce jack tungsten pegging it uh, just you know flipping anything any cover I could in some pockets uh, those fish I think were getting ready to move up to spawn um, but you know just anything that I could you know lay downs backs of docks anything like that uh, 3 8 ounce rage crawl um, I was throwing that uh, on a ALX Zolo dragger just 7.4 heavy rod uh, awesome little flipping rod uh, for sparse cover um, handled everything well was able the, the day on day one everything I did catch I was able to you know get those fish out of the cover uh, uh, nicely and get them in the boat um, was throwing that 17 pounds Seaguar and Viz X um, and that's mainly what accounted for my weight on day one uh, day two caught most everything on the same thing I just you know ran around a little too much and got spun out but uh, is what it is ended up 93rd at grand so I uh, told myself you know keep my head up uh, and move on to Kentucky Lake uh, and Kentucky Lake was a little bit better to me uh, ended up 48 there made the third day got paid so that's always good um, but uh, at Kentucky Lake I caught every most fish everything I caught on a wacky rig Cinco um, in practice I, I found a few pockets that were you know had a lot of fish in there um, so I just you know ran those pockets um, and ended up catching almost 16 pounds on day one um, you know got the morning started off right on day one with a, a three and a half and a four and a half uh, on back-to-back -back cast so that, that helped me get settled down and, and just kind of go fishing um, and then on the second day, um, a lot of my fish were post-spawn fish, believe it or not, and I could actually see those fish just swimming up the bank. I'd flip that wacky rig Cinco out in front of them, and they, they went over there and ate it. So uh, I did lose one on the Cinco. That would improve my weight uh, a little bit on day two, but that's, that's the way it is. A uh, light line got me wrapped up around a dock post. So um, is what it is. That's going to happen, but uh, wacky rig Cinco is what – got the most bites for me there. Um, was throwing that on the ALX Icos uh, Soul 7. Um, you guys have seen some videos I've done, uh, wacky rigging, throwing it on the Soul 7. Um, just an awesome all around spinning rod uh, for wacky rigging, shaky head, anything like that. Uh, got enough tip to where I can make a good cast, yet enough backbone to get those fish out. So. Um, you know, I was very pleased with the way Kentucky Lake, uh, you know, the way I did at Kentucky Lake. Obviously, would have liked to have done, you know, a little bit better on day three. Um, but when you can, uh, you know, make a top 50 cut with these guys, it's, uh, you know, you know something to be a little bit proud of. So, um, happy with the way Kentucky Lake fished. Uh, went for me. Like I said, ended up 48 there. So, uh, gained a little bit of momentum. Uh, got that bad taste from Grand Lake out of my mouth. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, looking forward to getting to Travis this coming week and seeing if we can't make another top 50 cut. So uh, you guys follow along. Uh, if you don't already, you follow me on all my show, social media stuff. And uh, we'll do some more videos and recaps. And uh, thank you guys for following along. See you guys.